Jeffrey, the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission says all electoral materials procurement was done above board and called on the political class uh, from implicating commissioners in non-existent scandals. The commission also promised to hold a stakeholders meeting to deal with a political party's concerns. The way forward was uh, we proceed to print the register, but we await the outcome of the, the, the court as to the way forward on uh, the matter, matter of physical register versus uh, com uh, uh, the, the digital register. But what I've seen in the media is the opposite of that. Uh, maybe we need to have that conversation again because um, at this rate then we, we are not waiting for the court case. We are having conversations through public rallies and uh, then the commission is put in a situation where we really don't know what, what to say. But uh, I thought we said let's print the register, wait for the court determination, then uh, we, we, we follow through. But perhaps we could then have another meeting with the stakeholders and uh, find a way forward because this is our country. We don't. Have uh, the law does not act retrospectively. Retro retrospectively, if it did, then the judge ought to have uh, specifically ordered and directed the commission to register uh, those uh, persons who did not qualify for want of compliance with those regulations. But there is no such a positive order directing the commission to clear those aspirants. So the law uh, applies uh, moving forward and the commission is guided. The commission uh, has a feeling that uh, uh, that judgment is, is not uh, sound with respect and has filed a notice of appeal in that respect and is applying for a stay of execution of that judgment.